What's up, everybody? This is Investing Sensei here to bring you episode 104 of the Weeble Option Adventures, where our goal is to sell options and collect that premium. So, uh, you'll see that the portfolio currently is at $27,194.65. You'll see our open, or I guess our open and profit and loss percentage. We're actually down about 16.67%. Uh, that actually comes out to be about a negative $544. Uh, you'll see that our cash balance is at $31,002.65 and, uh, and then our options buying power is at $552.65 so not much buying power uh, we should get some of it uh, this coming week because some of the options I did put uh, actually expired worthless uh, but you'll see here guys that the first one we do have is actually one uh, cash cure put on Altria for a strike price of $44.50. This one actually expired yesterday on the 6th of uh, January of 2023. We collected $4 or I guess 4 cents which is $4. Uh, this one did expire worthless so that was pretty awesome. Uh, the next ones are actually two Tesla cash cure puts. I am managing these, so we will see what happens in the next week, in the following week, if I'm able to close them uh, much earlier, or I have to uh, actually roll them out further in uh, time. But you'll see that first one we do have is actually one uh, cash cure put on Tesla for a strike price of $135. This one actually expires on the 27th of uh, January of 2023. Uh, this one we collected $19.60, which comes out about to be $1,960. It's actually in the red, so we will have to continue to manage this one. Uh, the next one, or the last one we do have, is actually one uh, cash gear put on Tesla for a strike price of $125. This one we collected, or I guess this one expires on the 20th of January of 2023. Three. Uh, we collected $13 which is actually $1,300 you'll see this one we are slightly in the red on this one as well uh, these I will have to manage because Tesla is actually trading way below the current strike prices so we will have to roll them or either getting assigned or we will see what happens but uh, I'm definitely going to continue to try to collect some premium for the month of January because we need to achieve our 1% goal that we are setting ourselves up for. Uh, but this is actually all the positions I do have open on the account. Let me show you guys here the history. I can show you guys all the trades we did this week. So you'll see the first one we actually did was sell an Intel uh, $25.50 cash gear put which we'll jump into a little bit once we jump over to the Google Sheets. Then you'll see we were actually able to buy it back and then we sold the Altria cash cured put. So that was pretty awesome. But this is actually all I have for you on the Weibo app. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Google Sheets. But before we do that, consider subscribing with that notification as well. Drop a big thumbs up on the video. Definitely would appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and jump over there. All right, guys. So we're here at the Google Sheets. You'll see that we do have um, on the dashboard if we actually start the start date by the 2nd of January and uh, we actually do the end date uh, which I clicked on the wrong one but uh, the end date it was actually the 6th uh, you'll see that we collected only nine dollars and 84 cents uh, this week for, uh, from selling cash cured puts you'll see credits total we uh, made fifteen dollars and 88 cents and then we paid six dollars and four cents uh, you know to exit some positions early there was actually nothing in gains and then nothing invested if I show you guys here the graphs, you'll see that we're for January of 2023, we're at $9.84 for the first week of January. I think uh, hopefully we can uh, bump this up much higher because remember, if we look at the monthly performance, we're trying to get every single month at a minimum of 1% return. And so far, we're at 0.03% return. So we got to uh, speed that up some. Uh, we'll see what next week uh, how it performs and then if we look at the weekly performance here you'll see that for week uh, January 6 2023 we made $9.84 which brings portfolio value to $31,002.26 we look over here uh, total premium we've collected so far $2,841.29 which comes out to be about 10.09% return on our money that we did start in April if we look here at the credits, 
you'll see that we do still have the two Tesla cash secure puts that we're managing. They're still open. We'll see what happens with this one. Uh, but you'll see on the 3rd of uh, January 2023, we actually placed the Intel cash secured put for $25.50 truck price. They paid us 12 cents, which comes out to be about almost $11.94 after fees. We actually bought this one back on the 3rd of uh, January. So we held it for about zero days. That exact same day, we were able to buy it back at about maybe 50% uh, premium profit, which was pretty nice. On the 5th of January, you'll see that we entered an Altria cash secured put for $44.50. We collected four cents or $4, uh, which about $3.94. This one did expire worthless. Uh, we held it for about one day. Uh, so that was pretty good there. If we look at the debits here, guys, this is the Intel one that we bought back and uh, we paid about $6. So we made right around maybe 50% on the premium. There's actually nothing in gates here and then uh, nothing on current buys. But uh, yeah, guys, this is actually all I have for you guys for this update. Not much uh, profits this week. We'll see what uh, happens next Saturday and uh, definitely will keep you posted. Again, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing with the notification. Definitely would appreciate it as well if you dropped a big thumbs up on the video. Let me know how much you guys made in the uh, this first week of January in premium. Would definitely love to hear that. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.